Hey guys, today we're here at Arcadia Rural Fire Brigade to give you a behind the scenes look at a Category 1 tanker. Let's go. Hi, my name is Sally and welcome to Arcadia Station. Here we have Arcadia 1 Bravo. 1 meaning Category 1 and B for our second truck. Welcome to the inside of Arcadia 1 Bravo. We have two radios. One is our GRN, which is to our main communication centre. The second radio we have is our fire ground radio, which we use for tactical communications truck to truck. In these pockets here, we carry buttons, vests and blankets. We can start the pump from inside the truck here, which can activate our cabin and wheel sprays, a part of our crew protection systems. These are our radiant heat shields. They're another part of our crew protection system, and in the event of an overrun, we roll them down to protect the crews inside. In this locker here, we have three sizes of hose. 65, 38, 25 mil hose. Some are percolating, some are non-percolating. In this locker here, we have branches, fittings, and support gear. We have our field first aid kit, our complete first aid kit with OxyViva. We carry an AED, uh, automated external defibrillator, CO2 and dry chemical powder extinguisher. Here we have McLeod tools. We use these to create control lines. Down here we have 40 litres of Class A foam concentrate. Here we have a couple of drip torches. We use these to safely light pile burns, hazard reductions and back burns. Here in the back we have two live reels. We have three outlets. 238 and 165 outlet, and one inlet, which we use for drafting out of dams, tanks, and pools. Also on the back of our truck, we have our foam proportioner system. We also have our pump, which essentially, if we're pumping at 700 kPa, we can lose all the water in our tank in just three and a half minutes. This is our hydrant filler point, where we fill our tank from the water mains. Here we have our breathing apparatus locker. We carry two BA sets, two spare cylinders, and our BA control equipment. We use BA in situations such as structure fires where there's a lot of smoke and maybe a motor vehicle accident uh, where there's a lot of toxic smoke in that environment. Here's our portable pump. We use this for remote locations where we can't get our vehicle and other incidents such as storm damage pumping out someone's basement. This is our non-standard portable scene lighting. We use this to light up work areas at incidents. In this locker, we carry our flossable entry tools. We carry spare water for crew and also canvas tops. Up here we have two chainsaws. In this locker we have toe straps, floats and extra tools we use for our chainsaws. 